Hi everyone, Christina here. Welcome to another card video at my YouTube channel and blog. Today I'm going to be using a new stamp set and also two new stencils from Paper Smooches. They have a blog hop going today, so even though it's a Saturday, I don't usually post on Saturday, I'm gonna have a little fun today and share a card with you for the weekend. So the stamp set I'm using is called Inhale, Exhale, and it has these amazing, like really encouraging greetings on it. I think they're fantastic. I love how big and bold all of the writing is. And then I have these two stencils. This one here is called Patterns. And I'm also going to be using this one that's called Starry. I love stars, all the stars, um, which is telling since my Instagram name is Star of May. I love stars and I was born in May. So if you were ever wondering how that Instagram name came about, that's how. And I'm going to be using these together and doing a little bit of blending and then stamping on top. So here we go. I'm starting out with some pink lemonade, my favorite things cardstock. I've had this for many, many years, so I really hope they're still salient. I imagine they are, but it's just a really pale pink. I've scored it at five and a half to create a side folding card. And before we do any of the masking, I'm going to take some two inch wide post-it tape, and I'm just going to protect the back side of the card just past the fold. I'm doing this on purpose because um, I'm going to be blending onto this card front while it's open. And so I want to make sure that I can blend off the edge, off that corner, or off the fold. I've picked four different Distress Ink colors. These are Distress Oxides. I've got Picked Raspberry, Seedless Preserves, Broken China, and Chipped Sapphire. So I'm going to be doing some sort of layering of the different stars and elements. So what I'm going to do is take some little bits of masking tape, just enough to kind of hold it in place. I'm first going to blend the color over this entire area. And because I am going to be doing quite a bit of blending around this star, I'm gonna go ahead and mask off the other shapes around it. This is gonna make sure I don't accidentally blend the other shapes. I'm going to start with picked raspberry and today I'm going to be using set the life-changing blender brushes from Picket Fence Studios because I want a really nice soft blend over these. Okay. While I still have that down I'm going to take this other stencil. I'm going to put some patterns on here and I'm going to once again tape this down the Seedless Preserves, I'm just gonna, this is just going to intensify the color. Before I move on, I'm going to go ahead and just clean off this stencil because I probably will use this pattern again. I'm going to lift up my star here. You can see how cute that that pink star is right on top of that pink cardstock. And I think now I'm going to do some Seedless Preserves going to bring this in, try to get that color really spread out. I'm going to do another pattern and I think I'll do this striped pattern. I'll have it just go kind of right across that star. So you can see how it adds that pattern there. In fact, I think I'll offset that pattern and come in with a little bit of this broken china just to see what it does. This time I'm going to use the broken china. Just get that blue on here. I'm going to do these little X cross things. I'm not sure what else to call them. And I'm going to do a little bit more of the chip sapphire. Put those right on top. And I think I want one kind of in the center there too. There we go.
finish off the front of this card, I think it would look nice to have a little bit of blending coming in from the edges. And I think I'll actually have it be in chip sapphire. So I want a really, really soft blend coming in on all of these edges. I'm gonna set this aside. I'm gonna let it dry while I clean up my work surface here. All right, I can peel up this masking paper. And I'm gonna hit this with my heat tool to speed up the drying process because I am going to do some heat embossing so I need everything completely dry. Before I move on to the heat embossing, I'm going to test it with embossing powder to make sure that nothing is going to stick to areas where you don't want it. Looks like it's nearly there. There are a couple of spots where the embossing powder is still sticking. So I just have to brush this off and I'll hit it with my heat tool again and make sure everything's dry. All right, I'll test this again. Looks like everything is sliding off with no problem. So here's that stamp set again. It's called Inhale, Exhale. And I thought I'd do that it's okay not to be okay and then one day at a time right below it. I'm actually going to use a grid transparency sheet to help me get it aligned just perfectly. All right, Let's peel that up. I'm now going to prep the area with an anti-static powder tool. This is just a tool that puts a little bit of powder onto the surface of the card. And that powder kind of dries any more moist areas, um, makes it so that when I stamp with my sticky ink, that really is the only sticky or wet part of this entire card front. So that when I apply the powder, it's only going to stick to those areas. It just ensures a really clean embossed image. Make sure this is right there in that corner. And I'm actually going to stamp this twice, stamping it in Versamark ink. I'm gonna stamp it twice because the larger grading is really big and I wanna make sure that I get a really good impression. I'm using some white embossing powder. This is alabaster embossing powder from Brutus Monroe. And I'm just putting this on here and then tapping off the excess. And I'll hit this with my heat tool. Okay, it's not standing out as much as I hoped it would. So I'm going to do something that I hope does not completely <laughs> ruin the card. We'll see. <laughs> I'm gonna take some masking tape and I'm just going to use the edge of the card as a guide, put that on, and I'm going to mask out an area and then blend over the top, and hopefully it'll darken the area behind the embossing and help it to stand out. Right. Now, Distress Oxide ink will actually coat the embossing powder and it'll be a little bit hard to buff it off. So now I'm going to switch to the original Distress ink. This is one of those instances where it's great to have both on hand. So I'm gonna to switch to the regular Distress ink and I think I'm gonna do some chip sapphire over the top. Switching to a smaller blender brush as well. And I'm just gonna blend over the top. You can see how it's already showing that greeting more. And then once I'm ready to buff off the color off the top, I can do that with just a regular cloth. It should slide right off all of that embossing. All right, I've got a clean paper towel. I'm just going to start buffing this and it's going to bring back the brightness. All right, so that buffed away all of that going to lift up my masking tape and it's going to make that area stand out. I have a few spots here that the blue is really showing through and it's really bothering me. So I'm gonna take a white gel pen and just kind of go over those areas where the embossing powder didn't quite cover everything. 
All right, and just because the spacing here is bugging me, I'm going to do some additional last minute um, little fixing here. And I'm going to take a T-square ruler and I'm going to draw a line with my white gel pen over that area and it's going to extend past that masked rectangle. For a non-intentional design element, I'm kind of really loving it now. <laughs> okay, so that is the card for today. I'm really loving this card. I love how graphic it is. In fact, I might even do a matching envelope for it. Uh, make sure you head over to Instagram to see that. I think I'll film it and have it as a video. So um, like I said before, this is for a blog hop for paper smooches. They have a brand new release. So many great things, including, I will show you another stamp set. There's a couple. There's the Patterns stamp set. It's called Patternology. It kind of goes with those stencils I showed earlier. And then this one, which is called Inverted Notes. So many great sentiments in here. Fantastic. So there's a lot of fun things in the release, including some additional dies. I encourage you to check those out. I'll have links down below to the entire release. You can check those out. Thanks so much for watching today. On screen, I have three more videos for you to check out. These are going to be some fun encouragement cards if you're looking to send someone a little bit of encouragement in the mail. Thanks so much for watching. I will see you guys on Monday for a brand new Make a Card Monday video.